it's Maddie and today I'm going to be doing a wear test on some foundation. So lately I have been trying to figure out what foundation works for me and I have not found one. Um, I've been using, I really don't know how to pronounce this, Bossia. I've been using this BB cream. I used to wear this all the time but it just doesn't, I mean it's a BB cream so it doesn't really have that full coverage that um, I'm wanting. And then also I've been using the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, which I really, really like. But the only thing I will say about it is it feels a little wet like throughout the day. And I already have oily skin and so that just doesn't really work for me. So uh, probably a couple months ago I purchased um, a drugstore foundation and I loved it and I ran out of it. And I've bought another tube of it and I just really enjoy it. And um... I've been switching on and off from all of these different ones and I always just come back to this certain one. Um, I haven't used it in the last couple months because I've been using the two I just showed you. Um, so this morning I went out and bought it. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, so I went out and bought a new bottle of it this morning. Uh, I used up my last bottle. So, you know, had to get a new one. And I got shade 103 because I'm a little pale. Do a little wear test for you guys and see how I think it um, goes throughout the day and if it makes my skin oily or if it stays pretty matte because, I mean, it says pro matte. Um, on the back it says finish is demi matte. Um, wears up to 24 hours. The coverage is medium and texture air light. So, um, I really think you can kind of build this one up if you need to for more of a full coverage foundation. I guess we'll see how this goes. So, I'm going to go ahead and just put some on the back of my hand. And I'm going to be using the Sephora Mineral Powder Brush. I know it says Mineral Powder, but I always use it for my uh, foundations that are liquid. <laughs> I always have. Um, first, let me tie my hair back real quick. I use these little dry bar clips and they're awesome if you just need something to tie your hair back. Let me get that. And so far, I mean, you can see that the coverage is pretty, pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. And I've always just loved this one. I feel like it just looks really good on my skin. It has a good flawless finish. Um, covers up what I need it to cover up. My face isn't crazy bad, but uh, it does have some imperfections that I do want to have covered up. So. And before the video, I went ahead and did my eyes and I primed my face with the Benefit Pore Professional. So, that is what I did before. Get the rest of this, put that on my chin. Take my hand and we'll go away to a different place. I'll float on air and we'll hide away. I'll be your escape. I look up and feel the shifting winds tossing us around again. Hold tight, you're ready to begin. And then for my lips, I'm going to be using the soft matte lip cream in color Zurich. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's a super pretty color. Love it on my lips. And this color goes with about almost every look I ever wear. Um, it almost reminds me of Kylie Jenner's Candy K color. That's one reason why I bought it. Because it's so similar. And this one's only like five dollars, so twenty nine five. I have candy K and I absolutely love it, but this is also my go-to if I don't have that on me. This one is perfect to have. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, so we got that done, and so far, I mean, right now the foundation looks very good, very matte, um, nothing too crazy going on. So I'm going to check her out the day and let's hope it stays good and yeah. So I will check back in with y'all in a 
couple of hours. I'm back. I'm having my friend Meredith video for me right now. We went to lunch for Subway. And so, um, it's been, well, it's been like three hours since we put this on. Uh, what I think of it so far is it's kind of cakey, it will cake up a little bit, kind of around my nose area. But other than that, I think it's wearing pretty well. It hasn't moved any, it's just kind of stayed pretty much in the same spot. Uh, I don't have any oil blotting pads, so I'm just going to use what I have. The napkin is the only what I do. And so we're going to get this and see if any oil comes off. Let's see, kind of around my troubled areas, which would be like my nose and my key zone area. And a little bit is coming off. I don't know if y'all can see or not, but. Really not too much is coming off, but some has come off, but normally my face is way oilier than that, and so this is going good. I definitely, so far, I would recommend this foundation, and again, it's the L'Oreal Pro Matte Finish, so 